Yankees gift shop and sort of reception area too goes back a long ways. We've had it for over 50 years. It began, I'd say, almost exactly 51 and a half years ago in September of 1958. That's when I arrived here. Believe it or not, that's a long time. And I remember it was the first Saturday and one of my shocking things when I started work here in September of 58 was that we worked on Saturday. Anyway, I was working upstairs in the one huge room we had for a editorial room. Rob Sagendorf, our founder, my uncle, six foot four, looked like Abraham Lincoln. Anyway, uh, Rob Sagendorf was downstairs in one of the rooms that in those days was not marked. Um, how do I describe that? I mean, usually those rooms have either men or women on it, okay? There was nothing. And we had no receptionists and so forth. So he was in there, reading the New York Times, by the way. Three ladies from Orange, Massachusetts came in. I could hear them. I was upstairs. They were chattering away. They walked in. There was nobody to greet them. So they just wandered around. They wandered into the room where Rob Zagendorf was uh, sitting. Are you, are you with me on this? I don't want to explain it too much. And they said, oh, Rob Sagendorf, we didn't think we'd get to see you, the publisher, the editor. They recognized him instantly, even though they didn't know the situation. But they recognized him from being, he was, he'd been on, I've got a secret, uh, what's my line? These are old time, very popular television shows back then. And they said, we never thought we'd see you. Oh, we feel so honored. Could we get a subscription to Yankee? So. Rob, uh, he didn't rise, even though he was a gentleman, uh, he said, well, sure. And he made out a subscription. He wrote the thing out, and they gave him some money. He had to get change, which was on the floor. And he gave them change. They never knew the situation. I could hear them chattering gaily as they walked out. Never knew. Then I heard Rob coming up the stairs about five minutes later. And he was mumbling. He was a great mumbler. He said, you know, we've got to get something for visitors around here to do other than seeing the publisher sitting on the john. And that was the beginning of our gift shop and reception area. Oh, and incidentally, um, we put signs on the bathrooms too. <laughs>